So the first free perk here that we're going to get is Deadshot Daiquiri. We're gonna head up to I3, up to this church here. Make sure that you have a Semtex on you, so go ahead and kill zombies and all that. Stand up on this grave and aim where I'm at just above this window here. Should land inside, hear the activation noise, and the reward portal will spawn in, giving you a free dead shot. The next perk we're going to grab is Quick Revive. It's by the Hadika Farms here in I-5. You'll see this sign with a bunny on top of it. Go ahead with an ATV under it. Sit under it, wait for the laugh to start, and you can drive all the way to this other sign here. To my mark. Gotta make sure to do it fast enough, that's why I recommend an ATV. Once you pass under it, the reward gift will spawn in, giving you a free quick revive. And you can do it from this way to the sign going that way as well. It does not matter which sign you start from. The next perk we're getting is PhD, and you have to go to Shaheen Manor over in H7. What we're gonna need to do is get on top of the roof of the manor. What you're gonna need to do is get on top of the manor. What you need to do is get on top of the manor here, get on the roof, and you can see there's a bunny down there. What you wanna do is jump into the pool. You can jump or dive off. And the reward portal will spawn in with PhD on top of the bunny. And fun fact with PhD, if you have it and you go into one of the infested nests, the aether nest, or in infected strongholds, without a gas mask, you will not take any damage. Don't know if this is intentional or a glitch, but something nice to know for now so you can get a free PhD and not have to worry about having a gas mask. So the next perk here that we're going to get is Tombstone. You're going to be in F7, F8 here on this building. And what you want to do is have a sniper out and aim up at the crane here and you can see a uh, blue bunny up here. You just want to aim at it. And you'll be jump scared by the bunny and then the reward portal will spawn right in its place giving you a free tombstone. The next free perk location is going to be stamina up and it's going to be inside of the Zaravan city. It is in sector D7. And specifically this building with the wall by directly to the left of this roundabout. Gonna hop inside. And you'll see the blue bunny at the bottom of these stairs. I'm just gonna go ahead and drop this. So that I can run faster. And all you have to do is run up all of these stairs. Go up each flight. Get all the way to the top within obviously a certain amount of time. But having your fists out makes you run the fastest that you can in the game, obviously without stamina up. If you have stamina up, still the fastest if you have your fists out. So. All right, we made it to the top. Spawned in a reward portal and has given us a free stamina up. The next free perk is going to be Juggernog, and it is going to be in Sector C3. You're going to need a Molotov for this one. With a Molotov, you're going to throw it at this campfire. But he's gonna be very happy that you lit the fire for him, and he's going to spawn in a free Juggernog can for you. The next perk location here is going to be at this bird statue from up above and it's in sector D2. You want yourself a vehicle and drive up it. See a bunny at top and once you land a free speed cola will be here for your taking. The next perk here being death perception is going to be in sector E1 slash E2 
2-ish area is going to be kind of here. But we're going to head over to the smokestack on top of it because we need to glide through those rings there. So let's go ahead and just do that. And there you go, once you glide through it, complete it, the uh, portal will spawn in, giving you a free death perception. And the final perk, Elemental Pop, is going to be in the tier 3 zone on E4. Oh, I went, wow. What did I even do? I went the complete opposite direction. <laughs> Anyways... I'm going to head over here, and what you're going to need is to have a pack punch tier 1 or above a weapon or something. I honestly don't know. Nobody knows fully yet. I'll update you on the comments whenever uh, it's like fully figured out. It'll be pinned. But you're going to need at least something to sacrifice into the grave here. I have a rare weapon with pack punch 1 and shatter blast. So let's see if I get uh, Elemental Pop here. And I do not. And I don't even get the uh, Rarity back. Or Pack Punch back. So this is very, very strange on how this works. And uh, I'll show a clip now of me getting it. Okay. Will this work? Oh, shit! Uh, apologies for the terrible mic quality. I don't know why it sounded like that uh, when I recorded it. But I've only gotten Elemental Pop from this uh, one time. And that was the only time that I've gotten it. And I have done it about 10 to 15 times-ish now. Consensus is it's something to do with sacrificing that and... I don't know, maybe the rarity of your weapon pack punch level and what type of ammo mod you have on when you sacrifice it increases your uh, chances of getting elemental pop. But the number thrown around uh, recently has been about a 30% chance of getting that. And I'm not exactly sure how well to trust that number, but it definitely does seem that low of getting it just by this kind of random means, means that we know of right now. So if there's any way to guarantee Elemental Pop, I will update in the comment section down below as a pin comment. And with every single one of these free perks, you can only have it once per player, per squad. I don't know about per lobby, but definitely per squad, only one person will be able to get this. So if this was helpful in any way, shape, or form, I uh, would hope you would subscribe, help me out, and uh, leave a like to promote the video for some more, and yeah, I'll update you whenever this is fully figured out as a pinned comment down below. So thank you very much for watching, and uh, I hope to see you all in the next one.